23.1 The Circulatory System Lesson Objectives Explain how the heart pumps blood throughout the body. Compare different types of blood vessels and their roles. Outline pathways of the pulmonary and systemic circulations. Define cardiovascular disease and list its factors. Describe blood, blood components, and blood pressure. Vocabulary Antigen Artery Atherosclerosis Blood Blood pressure Blood type Capillary Cardiovascular disease CVD Circulatory system Heart attack Hypertension Plasma Platelet Pulmonary circulation Red blood cell Systemic circulation Vein White blood cell Introduction. The circulatory system can be compared to a system of interconnected one-way roads that range from superhighways to back alleys. Like a network of roads, the job of the circulatory system is to allow the transport of materials from one place to another. The materials carried by the circulatory system include hormones, oxygen, cellular wastes, and nutrients from digested food. Transport of all these materials is necessary to maintain homeostasis of the body. The main components of the circulatory system are the heart, blood vessels, and blood. The heart. The heart is a muscular organ in the chest. It consists mainly of cardiac muscle tissue and pumps blood through blood vessels by repeated rhythmic contractions. The heart has four chambers, two upper atria, singular atrium, and two lower ventricles. Valves between the chambers keep blood flowing through the heart in just one direction. Blood flow through the heart. Blood flows through the heart in two separate loops. 1. Blood from the body enters the right atrium of the heart. The right atrium pumps blood to the right ventricle, which pumps it to the lungs. 2. Blood from the lungs enters the left atrium of the heart. The left atrium pumps the blood to the left ventricle, which pumps it to the body. Heartbeat Unlike skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle contracts without stimulation by the nervous system. Instead, specialized cardiac muscle cells send out electrical impulses that stimulate the contractions. As a result, the atria and ventricles normally contract with just the right timing to keep blood pumping efficiently through the heart. Blood vessels Blood vessels form a network throughout the body to transport blood to all the body cells. There are three major types of blood vessels, arteries, veins, and capillaries. Arteries are muscular blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart. They have thick walls that can withstand the pressure of blood being pumped by the heart. Arteries generally carry oxygen-rich blood. The largest artery is the aorta, which receives blood directly from the heart. Veins are blood vessels that carry blood toward the heart. This blood is no longer under much pressure, so many veins have valves that prevent backflow of blood. Veins generally carry deoxygenated blood. The largest vein is the inferior vena cava, which carries blood from the lower body to the heart. Capillaries are the smallest type of blood vessels. They connect very small arteries and veins. The exchange of gases and other substances between cells and the blood takes place across the extremely thin walls of capillaries. Blood Vessels and Homeostasis Blood vessels help regulate body processes by either constricting, becoming narrower, or dilating, becoming wider. These actions occur in response to signals from the autonomic nervous system or the endocrine system. Constriction occurs when the muscular walls of blood vessels contract. This reduces the amount of blood that can flow through the vessels. Dilation occurs when the walls relax. This increases blood flow through the vessels. Constriction and dilation allow the circulatory system to change the amount of blood flowing to different organs. For example, during a fight-or-flight response, dilation and constriction of blood vessels allow more blood to flow to skeletal muscles and less to flow to digestive organs. Dilation of blood vessels in the skin allows more blood to flow to the body's surface so the body can lose heat. Constriction of these blood vessels has the opposite effect and helps conserve body heat. Blood Vessels and Blood Pressure The force exerted by circulating blood on the walls of blood vessels is called blood pressure. Blood pressure is highest in arteries and lowest in veins. When you have your blood pressure checked, it is the blood pressure in arteries that is measured. 
High blood pressure, or hypertension, is a serious health risk, but can be controlled with lifestyle changes or medication. Pulmonary and systemic circulations. The circulatory system actually consists of two separate systems, pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation. Pulmonary circulation. Pulmonary circulation is the part of the circulatory system that carries blood between the heart and lungs. The term pulmonary means of the lungs. Deoxygenated blood leaves the right ventricle through pulmonary arteries, which transport it to the lungs. In the lungs, the blood gives up carbon dioxide and picks up oxygen. The oxygenated blood then returns to the left atrium of the heart through pulmonary veins. Systemic circulation. Systemic circulation is the part of the circulatory system that carries blood between the heart and body. Oxygenated blood leaves the left ventricle through the aorta. The aorta and other arteries transport the blood throughout the body where it gives up oxygen and picks up carbon dioxide. The deoxygenated blood then returns to the right atrium through veins. Cardiovascular disease. Diseases of the heart and blood vessels, called cardiovascular diseases, CVD, are very common. The leading cause of CVD is atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is the buildup of plaque inside arteries. Plaque consists of cell debris, cholesterol, and other substances. Factors that contribute to plaque buildup include a high fat diet and smoking. As plaque builds up, it narrows the arteries and reduces blood flow. Coronary heart disease. Atherosclerosis of arteries that supply the heart muscle is called coronary heart disease. This disease may or may not have symptoms such as chest pain. As the disease progresses, there is an increased risk of heart attack. A heart attack occurs when the blood supply to part of the heart muscle is blocked and cardiac muscle fibers die. Coronary heart disease is the leading cause of death of adults in the U.S. Preventing cardiovascular disease Many factors increase the risk of developing coronary heart disease and other CVDs. The risk of CVDs increases with age and is greater in males than females at most ages. Having a close relative with CVD also increases the risk. These factors cannot be controlled, but other risk factors can, including smoking, lack of exercise, and high-fat diet. By making healthy lifestyle choices, you can reduce your risk of developing CVD. Blood Blood is a fluid connective tissue. It circulates throughout the body through blood vessels by the pumping action of the heart. Blood in arteries carries oxygen and nutrients to all the body's cells. Blood in veins carries carbon dioxide and other wastes away from the cells to be excreted. Blood also defends the body against infection, repairs body tissues, transports hormones, and controls the body's pH. Composition of Blood the fluid part of blood is called plasma. It is a watery, golden yellow liquid that contains many dissolved substances and blood cells. Types of blood cells in plasma include red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. The trillions of red blood cells in blood plasma carry oxygen. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin, a protein with iron that binds with oxygen. White blood cells are generally larger than red blood cells, but are fewer in number. They defend the body in various ways. For example, white blood cells, called phagocytes, swallow and destroy microorganisms and debris in the blood. Platelets are cell fragments involved in blood clotting. They stick to tears in blood vessels and to each other, forming a plug at the site of injury. They also release chemicals that are needed for clotting to occur. Blood type. Blood type is a genetic characteristic associated with the presence or absence of certain molecules called antigens on the surface of red blood cells. The most commonly known blood types are the AVO and rhesus blood types. AVO blood type is determined by two common antigens, often referred to simply as antigens A and B. A person may have blood type A, only antigen A, B, only antigen B, AV, both antigens, or O no antigens. Rhesus blood type is determined by one common antigen. A person may either have the antigen Rh plus or lack the antigen Rh minus. Blood type is important for medical reasons. A person who needs a blood transfusion must receive blood that is the same type as his or her own. 
Otherwise, the transfused blood may cause a potentially life-threatening reaction in the patient's bloodstream. Lesson Summary The heart contracts rhythmically to pump blood to the lungs and to the rest of the body. Specialized cardiac muscle cells trigger the contractions. Arteries carry blood away from the heart. Veins carry blood toward the heart, and capillaries connect arteries and veins. The pulmonary circulation carries blood between the heart and lungs. The systemic circulation carries blood between the heart and body. A disease that affects the heart or blood vessels is called a cardiovascular disease, CVD. The leading cause of CVD is atherosclerosis, or the buildup of plaque inside arteries. Healthy lifestyle choices can reduce the risk of developing CVD. Blood is a fluid connective tissue that contains a liquid component called plasma. It also contains dissolved substances and blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen, white blood cells defend the body, and platelets help blood clot.